Learn all parts of speech in English. What are parts of speech? When we talk to someone this is called speech when this speech is divided into parts called parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech. Noun. Pronoun. Verb. Adverb. Adjective. Preposition. Conjunction. Interjection. Noun. Everything which has a name is called a noun. For example, person, place, thing, animal. Types of noun. Proper noun. Common noun. Collective noun. Abstract noun. Material noun. Countable noun. Uncountable noun. Singular noun. Plural noun. Compound noun. Concrete noun. Proper noun. The name of a particular person, place, or thing is called proper noun. For example, Sarah. Turkey. Birthday balloon. Common noun. A common name given to every person, place, or thing of the same kind is called common noun. For example, doctor, school, box. Collective noun. A collective noun is a word used to represent a group of people, animals, or things. For example, crowd, zoo, kitchen. Abstract noun. The name of something that we can only think of or feel. For example, kindness, hope, greed. Material noun. It is a substance material or ingredient which we can see or touch and which we used for making things. For example, gold, silver, cotton. Countable noun. The things which we cannot measure are called countable noun. For example, apples, eggs, tomatoes. Uncountable noun. The things which we can measure are called uncountable noun. For example, sugar, water, milk. Singular noun refers to one person place thing or animal for example teacher house pencil cat plural noun refers to more than one person place thing an animal for example teachers houses pencils cats Singular and plural noun examples. Animal. Animals. Person. People. Child. Children. Woman. Women. Man. Men. Goose. Geese. Compound noun. It is a single noun made up of two or more than two words. For example. Bus. Plus. Stop. Bus stop. There are three types of compound nouns. Number one. With spaces. Number two. Without spaces. Number three. With hyphens. With spaces. Ice cream. Living room. Swimming pool. Without spaces. Carpet. Cupboard. Airport. With hyphens. Mother-in-law. Self-confidence. Dry cleaning. Concrete noun. A concrete noun is a noun you can experience or detect with your five senses. Names of five senses. Taste. See. Hear. Smell. Touch. Pronoun. Pronouns are the words which are used in place of noun. For example, Alex lives in the USA. He lives in the USA. 
There are three person pronouns. First person is always you. Second person is always the person who is listening to you. Third person when we talk about other people. First person I, me, my, mine, we, us, our, ours. Second person you, your, yours. Third person he, she, him, her, his, hers, it, its, they, their, theirs. Types of pronoun. Personal pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Relative pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Interrogative pronouns. Personal pronouns. Refers to a person or thing. He, she, his, her, it, they, we, are. Personal pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. These pronouns are used to indicate something. This, that, these, those, are. Demonstrative pronouns. This is my chair. This is a demonstrative pronoun. These are toolboxes. These in the sentence are demonstrative pronoun. Reflexive pronouns. The words which are ending with self-selves are reflexive pronouns. For example, myself, herself, themselves, etc. Relative pronouns. It is used to connect a clause or phrase. For example, whichever, whoever, whatever, etc. Reciprocal pronouns. These pronouns indicates a relationship where more people or things are performing the same task. For example, each, other, one, another. Sentences. They love each other. The kids are playing with one another outside. Indefinite pronouns. A pronoun that refers to a person or thing without being specific. Anyone. Someone. Something. Are. Indefinite pronouns. Sentences. I need to find something. Anything is possible if you think. Anybody can answer my question. Possessive pronouns. These pronouns are used to indicate the possession of something to avoid repetition. For example, This tea is my tea, not your tea. This tea is mine, not yours. Interrogative pronouns. These pronouns are used when we ask a question. For example, who, whom, which, whose, etc. Sentences. Whose car is this? What did you wear? What is your name? Verb. A verb is a word that shows an action, meaning, work, or state of being. Meaning. Existence. Presence of something. For example. Speak. Go. Learn. Walk. Eat. Play. Teach. Listen. Accept. Understand. Are examples of action. Is. Am. Are. Was. Were. Has. Have. Are examples of state of being. Types of verbs. Helping verb. Auxiliary verb. Main verb. Action verb. State of verb. Transitive verb. Intransitive verb. Helping verb. 
Help the main verb to describe action that action happened in the past or is happening in the present or will happen in the future. There are 16 helping verbs which are categorized into three parts. Types of helping verb. Primary verbs. Modals. Semi-modals. Primary verbs. Be, do, have, are. Primary verbs. Modal verbs. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to, are. Modal verbs. Semi-modals. Need. Dare. Used to. Are. Semi-modals. Main verb. It shows action and state with the help of a helping verb. For example, Sarah feels confused. Action verb. It describes what someone or something is doing. For example, she ate the pizza. The bus arrived on time. State of verb. It describes the states not the action. Names of states. Thoughts, feelings, senses, possession, measurements. Transitive verb. It takes a direct object. For example, he wrote. He wrote a letter. This sentence is not complete so we need a word to complete a sentence. Intransitive verb. It doesn't take a direct object. For example, he died. This sentence is complete. It doesn't take a word to complete a sentence. Adverb. When you add something in the verb this is called adverb. It qualifies the verb or clear the meaning of the verb. For example, he is walking. He is walking slowly. Slowly in the sentence clear the meaning of the noun. Adjective. When we add words in the noun to clear the meaning of the noun is called adjective. For example, this is a box. This is a large box. Large in the sentence clear the meaning of the noun. There are three types of adjective. Positive. Comparative. Superlative. Positive. It expresses the quality of a person, place, or things. For example, he is a brave boy. Brave in the sentence is a positive adjective. Comparative. It is used to compare two personalities, things, or their qualities. For example, Sarah is brave than Alex. Superlative. It is used to compare more than two personalities things or their qualities. For example, the black car is bigger than white and blue car. Preposition. It shows the relation between noun and pronoun. For example, the pencil is on the chair. Pencil and chair both are noun in the sentence. On shows the relation and complete the sentence without on the sentence is not complete. The pencil is the chair. The pencil is on the chair. So on complete the sentence. Conjunction. These are the words which are used to join words, phrases or sentences together. For example, the professor gave us an easy test so all of us passed. The professor gave us an easy test is a complete sentence. All of us passed is a complete sentence. So join these sentences. So in the sentence is conjunction. Interjection. The words which show our sudden feelings or emotions are called interjection. For example. Wow. Hurry. Shish.